and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Scottsford Common Council on this day, December the 28th, 2021, in the year of our Lord. We can't say that much any longer, do we? We just have about two, three more days, three more days, and that's going to be about it. So we'll call our uh, meeting to order tonight, and the first thing we do is have prayer. So I'm going to pledge allegiance, so if you don't mind, let's stand and, and Father, we just come before you to thank you first and foremost for your grace and your mercy. Father, for your love and your protection for yourself, Father, and how you give of yourself. Your word says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. We claim that, Father. We thank you for our city. We thank you for the residents of our city. We thank you for those who have said, here, my Lord, send me, who have put their name in a vow, and here they sit. And they're able to, you're able to use, Father, that all that you've given to them, their minds and their their emotions, Father, and their wisdom and their skill and their experiences. So, Father, we just pray your blessing upon them. I pray your blessing upon our citizens, Father, as well. And, Father, we pray for those who are going to move to Scottsbury. We pray you have the right people move here. Father, we have a large housing uh, going on right now, so we ask for the, the people that you would have, Father. Uh, we thank you for the time you've given unto us. Father, we remember, as uh, we just finished uh, celebrating uh, the birth of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And we thank you so much, Father, for we have this time that we can celebrate his birth. We look forward, Father. We waited 4,000 years for him to come, and we waited 2,000 years for him to return. And we pray, Father, we still look forward. So we love you and thank you each day. Bless us this night, Father, in, your, in doing the work of the city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Folks, we want to thank you for coming out here this evening and uh, being part of uh, the city's business, being part of the city, as many of you are part of the city. The next thing we have on our agenda for this evening is... Uh, the roll call by our clerk, Treasurer Jan Hart. Mayor Amy? Here. Chris Albertson? Bill Hoagland? Here. Here. Rick Vance? Here. Christian Evans? Here. Chuck Rose? Here. I want everybody to know Chris, uh, Chris Albertson is here. Sometimes a little bit delayed the time he says a word. So if you're asking him a question, we're going to have a, we want to wait to make sure we hear his delay. Chris, did you hear that okay, buddy? Well, thank you so very much for joining us this evening, buddy. And uh, glad to be a part. Thank you. The next thing we have is the approval of the minutes of the December 3rd, 2021 meeting. If you've had a chance to read over those minutes, you see no uh, omissions. I agree with everything. We'll take. We'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes as presented. I'll make the motion. Christian Evans makes the motion. Is there a second? Second. Chuck Rose seconds. Any other questions, comments about it? Here we go. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Uh, that's unanimous. Thank you very much. The next thing we have on our agenda is a public comments time. The city of Scottsford. I'm sorry, the Scottsburg City Council will accept public comments. Individuals wishing to address the council will be asked to come forward and state their name for the record. Each person will have five minutes to voice their opinion. Remarks should focus on issues and not be used to target city employees or elected officials. Who this evening would be our, like to be the first one to come forward and uh, express their ideas? Oh, please come. We have a big crowd tonight. We have a big crowd tonight. I'm Mike Chesser, Executive Director with the Scott County Visitors Commission, and I've got a couple of items I wanted to bring before the council. First, I'd like to thank Chief and his staff. I know he's busy back there figuring out all the sirens, but uh, we had uh, one of our holiday displays stolen uh, the very first Saturday, uh, right before all the parade and all the fun festivities downtown. And, uh, Joe Nicholson has been very helpful in uh, trying to track down the uh, individual. We, we had some nice video from the Java station and then from the uh, courthouse, but unfortunately quality wasn't strong enough to really 
identify the individual. But we, uh, I know that uh, Officer Nicholson uh, has been meeting with a lot of folks around town trying to identify the individual. <coughs> Put a little pressure uh, on a, a few folks to try and get them to uh, to roll over on a friend, I'm sure. But uh, I just wanted to make the uh, Common Council aware that uh, his staff has been working very hard trying to help us replace what is about an $850 uh, display. Uh, the second thing I wanted to bring uh, before the Common Council this evening is, I don't know if many of you are aware, but I'm assisting Scottsburg Main Street, and our office has been assisting Scottsburg Main Street in our reorganization of that group. Um, with COVID, uh, the organization uh, did not meet for nearly an entire year. Under that process, uh, we decided it was time to come back in and just kind of reorganize from the ground up. Uh, my previous role uh, in Main Street has been uh, as president of the board in Noblesville when I was living up there. So I have a strong working knowledge of uh, the Main Street organization, the process, and what it's all about. So we're, we're assisting with this process. We have already started with the application process with the Indiana Office of Community and Rural Affairs. As a matter of fact, Mary has been kind enough to assist us uh, with his signature on a letter of intent that we've already delivered to uh, the OCRA offices. We're in the process also of right now uh, going through the formal application process and as well as uh, getting uh, the necessary paperwork with the Secretary of State's office as well as the IRS and the Indian Department of Revenue. So we're working through this process. Um, what I'm here this evening for is to ask for the Common Council's assistance. Part of our application process, we are needing either a letter of support or a resolution from the City of Scottsburg's Common Council in support of Scottsburg's Main Street's reorganization and the application process with Indiana Main Street. Now, I don't know the formal process with the Council on a request like this. You probably receive one every, uh, every month, but this is something that I wanted to bring before you uh, and ask for your assistance. Uh, there's no monetary support necessary. Uh, the organization, once it is reestablished, will be a 501c3. Uh, it will be supported through uh, minor membership dues and what I call a, a GAS program, which is grants, alliances, partnerships, and sponsorships. Uh, so that's how it will be maintained at this time. Uh, what question is, so basically we don't have the Main Street now, is that correct? It was, it was actually dissolved, in, in my research, it was dissolved a number of years ago. It was certainly dissolved with the Secretary of State's office. It has been functioning and operating as, as more of a downtown merchants organization, for lack of a better description. Um, so what we're doing is going back through the formal process and, uh, and reorganizing it as Scottsburg Main Street, refiling the 501c3 paperwork, going back and getting that reestablished with the Secretary of State's office. That's great. Mr. President, what's your idea on this? Yeah, I, I'm just curious. Uh, you uh, you have a, a board, or will you have a board? In, we would. We just, just adopted a new set of bylaws uh, last, uh, actually in December. Okay. Uh, we have established an executive committee right now. The executive committee uh, consists of uh, new president, uh, Brandy uh, Romau. I believe it's the correct pronunciation. I may be wrong. Uh, she is the owner of John's Station. She will be the president. Uh, Kevin Smallwood uh, will be the vice president uh, with Bob and Kev's Barbecue. Uh, Adrian Smallwood from our office, and she's our fiscal administrator with our organization, will be the treasurer at this time and also assist with the secretary duties until we find a new secretary. Right now we're accepting letters of interest from other members, uh, merchants that have interest in being a part of the board of directors and they will be having elections for the remaining, what is that, five members, uh, four members, remaining four members in the January meeting. Just, just curious, I, I, I guess I had thought
quickly as possible. So I, I, it would be, uh, I'm assuming that okay for us to uh, approve the resolution to the first meeting in January and that would still meet your time. And then all I will do is, is upload it into the application process in, in a form that we'll be submitting and we'll be told. Did anyone have any objection to, to doing that, Bill? You okay with that? I'm okay. Chris, are you, did you hear all that? Yeah, that sounds good. I think uh, Main Street does some really good work when it was uh, functioning back in the day. It would be a good thing to get back up and going again. Well, it's, it's been doing a lot of good work, and, and the organization and the group that's out there right now has put together some nice programs, and they, they're already in the planning process of new new events, new functions that are retail-oriented, as well as events that are family-focused to bring, bring people and families back downtown. That sounds great. Sounds great. Right. And so, will it allow you to get any type of grants as well or anything for the city? Part, part of our organization at Main Street will allow us, as well as the city, to qualify for quite a few more grants through the Department uh, or the Office of Rural and Community Affairs. That's awesome as well. So, absolutely. Um, and, and I want people to know as well because the Visitors Commission did supply a lot. Mobile light fixtures, and so thank you very much. I, we received a lot of compliments on the lighting, so uh, I hate to hear about the loss. Yeah, it, it's minor, and, and it is something that unfortunately happens. Uh, we did this in, in Brown Park when I was running the Chamber of Commerce in St. Matthews. We would have it from time to time, as, as well as the occasional, you know, stealing of uh, electrical cords or cutting electrical cords and having to rewire some things is just part of it. Um, but uh, I, I do want the city and the common council to also know that we'll be going back to my board uh, asking for additional funds for next year as well. That's great. I tell you, we just love the lights. I mean, if you look at mega caverns down there, I mean, you can see what's happening down there. Lights seem to be synonymous with Christmas. And, uh, you know, I guess where the light of the world came from, right? Exactly. And, so I thank you so very much. Well, thank you. We're, we're going you're back doing for and asking for thirty-five thousand from our board. Wow. wow. So it would be a significant jump wow. from what we had last year. But we'd like to do some new, new things, like incorporating a uh, large Christmas tree, yes. as well as some unique lighting that will give us a little bit of a, a little more flair than just the static displays that we have right now. That would be awesome. We we'll look forward to seeing you. Look forward to the partnership. Chris, did you understand all that from your position? Right, 
always says, you do a great job, it shouldn't matter, and I understand that too. I try my best, but at the same time, it's always something that sets in the back of your mind come election time, so. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, the only thing I would ask is for a resolution the same, to have the same treatment as other department heads, to where I have that protection of, I would not be dismissed for political reappointment. You have the opportunity to go back to first class firefighter, basically. Yeah, yeah. Which is the lowest rank. Right. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. This is something that we've discussed amongst ourselves and, and I've spoken with Chief mm -hmm. a couple of times, so I, you know, I, I have no problem making this motion to approve. Thank you very yeah. much. Chuck Rose makes the motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Christian Harris seconds. Any questions, comments, concerns? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank Chief Hay, for all you do, you, uh, you. you do a fantastic you. job. Tell us about what you just recently did, or Brad did. I'm sure you, you headed all that up. Uh, we've done a lot. <laughs> Help me here. We're going down to Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky. yes, 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 yes. There, we've done a lot of things the last few weeks. So, uh, no, we did a collection throughout the community uh, to get supplies to go down to the tornado victims. And uh, it was a huge success. It ought to actually become a full-time job for two days. Um, we were overwhelmed, to be honest with you. It was just a constant rotating door coming in the station. Um, and we ended up filling an uh, entire box trailer from the city um, and took it down. So it was, it was really great. The community really poured out for us. So. You want to talk about the new birth as well at your fire station? Yeah, we also uh, received our new engine, and it's officially in service, so uh, for everybody's sake, hopefully we don't ever have to use it, but it's there if we need it, so <laughs> we have our tickle with it. And it is certainly a little faster with a lot more capability than the original one you have sitting in the museum, isn't it? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. It actually has a heat for this time of year. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chief, for all you and your, and your team does. And thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, Mr. President, what else do you have for this evening? I have nothing else. Okay. Um, I have two things. Just, I was at the wastewater today. We go through a monthly meeting. And just to bring you up to date, everything is going wonderful down there. The, <clears throat> the, the reactors are all in. Most all the piping is in, the handrails are in, the steps are being ordered, uh, the, the uh, new generator is in, uh, placed on the pad, we're doing, getting ready to do the electrical, the, uh, uh, our old main building there in the back, it's been all poured, we're getting ready to do the masonry here in a few of the grit building, the headwork building there, um, all of our input is all in. Uh, it's just coming on very nicely. We, we hope to be able to, I uh, hope, we're going to be putting water fluid in there in May. So we have about four months to get to there. So that tells you just the progress we've been making. You know, we bring things online. We have, it's kind of a juggling act because while we're bringing something online, we're also maintaining our old system here as well. Of course, when we're reconfiguring, we're using everything over there. So all three of those reactors will still be used. Those tanks are going to be used. One of them is we're, we're, we're enlarging our UV station. So the, the tricky part now is coming in, maintaining the same quality we have here and bringing on a whole other line in part and still using some of the system. So a little bit of a juggling act, but, but we're, it's going very well. And, uh, and also, uh, and uh, so I just want to say congratulations to Christian Evans as well. And it is just a joy, it is just a joy. So, uh, uh, especially this time of year with so many good things. So, we pray the Lord bless you and your family, my brother. Thanks, man. What else do we have for this evening? Here we go. We will accept the motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Chuck Rowe, the next motion is a double word. Thank you so very much.